Well, at first I was a little nervous about it because playing a pop star is never the easiest thing to do. And there have been many successes of actors playing pop stars in movies, but there have also been some painful failures. And you think, well, Pacino, he's great playing a Cuban with a machine gun and a mountain of coke, but playing Rod Stewart, maybe it's it's a different thing altogether and maybe he won't be so good. Within seconds, those fears were gone. Of course he's great. He's Al Flippin Chino. And crucially, I think the writer-director, Dan Fogelman, uh, makes this more about the the personal crisis that Danny is going through rather than a bigger picture of the music industry. And that allows Al Pacino to really go for it. So this guy is, is flamboyant um, and he's vain and he's cocky, but he's also really insecure as well. And Pacino's clearly having a whale of a time with the role, as is everyone. Christopher Plummer is just a complete joy in it. And Annette Benning, brilliant as well. The chemistry between Al Pacino and Annette Benning, the flirting and the banter, is a total treat. And for me, that's the main thing about the film because uh, the plot isn't the most original plot in the world, but it's a real pleasure to watch great actors, experienced actors, being allowed to do their thing, to prove why they've lasted in the game for so long, to remind us why they are so respected. And Dan Fogelman, I suppose, did that to a certain extent with uh, Last Vegas, which he wrote, which was, you know, for for more senior actors. But this is significantly better because he's directing it as well. And you just get the feeling that he lets the scenes run a little bit longer than you'd expect and lets everyone have their moment and lets the film really breathe at a very considered pace. So it's impressively wordy and, and laid back that you don't really see that often. Everything's so hyperactive, off, you know, often in movies. But this is a much slower Um, film which is great because it allows people to really strut their stuff Uh, like I said not the world's most original plot but I think the script has enough bite in it to offset the cheesier moments and if you combine that with the the original the classic John Lennon songs that are in there I think Ryan Adams wrote some new songs for it as well you've got something pretty special Uh, movie legends like Al Pacino, Annette Bening, Christopher Plummer being allowed to be grown up and show off their stuff is a surprisingly rare thing. Uh, I hope it doesn't get lost in the crowd. I just watched it and thought, this doesn't feel like an early summer movie to me. And actually, you could easily get away with releasing it in um, autumn or New Year when the big awards movies come out, because I think it has awards-worthy performances in it. And if it had come out in November and people were saying, yeah, I reckon this will get Golden Globe nominations, you you would believe it. It's that kind of a movie. So my concern is that actually the the release date is a a little odd. But hopefully people will remember it come the time of of awards, because I think that certainly Al Pacino and Annette Bening are worthy of, you know, ticks in those boxes and saying, yeah, I think they should should win something.